You may have seen my Krieg Army Showcase. And see, I love the Death Riders. Having 36 of them feels a little too many, perhaps. Well, with the Rough Riders data sheet available, I wonder if I'm going to have to run them as those instead. It's certainly going to be a while before the Imperial Army Compendium is updated. The data sheet is now available and corroborates nicely with the Warhammer Community articles of the same. And let's just say what a fantastic profile for the points. Both a fast attack and likely to be 20 points each. The Rough Riders are quick with movement 12, but critically have the ability to ignore movement modifiers, which is very powerful. They have a switch around of weapon skill, ballistic skill with a 3 plus weapon skill. And this makes more sense because they are all about the charge. The Death Riders are more resilient, which is the only place they win out. Both a T4, 4 plus save, but the Death Riders have one more wound and a 5 plus feel no pain. The real difference is in the attack profile. Let's start with the Rough Riders having one more base attack. Then they have strength 4 base rather than 3, and that makes a big difference. Especially when you can get them up to strength 8 on the charge, whereas Death Riders only ever get up to strength 5. So the key difference is the Lancers. A standard Death Rider gets just one attack and on the charge is strength 5, minus 3 AP and 2 damage. Not on the charge, it's trash. The horses can join in with another two attacks each, but they're only strength 4, minus 1 AP and 1 damage. The new Rough Riders have Lance profile options, essentially a sweep and a strike option. The sweep has double exploding hits, a strength 6 which is good and then only minus 1 AP and 1 damage. The strike is the impressive one at strength 8 on the charge, minus 4 AP and 3 damage, just no exploding attacks. There is another lance option available for only 1 in 5 models, a single exploding hit and 2 damage, but deals an extra mortal wound in addition against vehicles. Definitely worth taking. The last ability which goes in favour of the Death Riders is their flanking manoeuvres, allows them to deep strike behind enemy lines. And even as fast as they are, this is great movement shenanigans. Looking at the new 9th edition regiment traits, You've got Blitz Division, which means reserves are half price, so you can either take more or they're going to be cheaper. Also, you can deploy into the enemy deployment zone from turn two. This can be a nice way of replacing the flanking ability of the Death Riders. And some other good traits that synergize well. Swift as the Wind, plus two inch move for the Riders and plus one inch to the charge. Trophy Hunter, plus one strength for attacks against monsters and vehicles. This can get the Rough Riders to strength nine. And Recon Operators, Cavalry can get a pre-game move, just really nicely adds to their movement shenanigans. Overall, Rough Riders are very fast, can kill Terminators, and are still effective even if not charging, although the plus two strength makes charging key. I think until the Imperial Army Compendium gets updated, I'm going to be running my Death Riders as proxies for these. Please, please, please can Death Riders get a similar stat line. See you in soon. Bye.